Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Let's study about the digestion process in small intestine. So previously I uploaded the digestion process in mouth and the digestion process in stomach. Right now, after stomach, you know that the duodenum of the, uh, the small intestine started and we need to know very carefully what are the process and what are the sequences of digestions is going to have here in the duodenum and especially in small intestine. You must know that there are number of reactions and number of enzymes is working here but uh, this will be a very shorter and simpler class to make you understand because uh, in HSC level I need to explain in HSC level a broader aspect but in ASSC level uh, I am just explaining in a shorter way so think about that in this duodenum Two duct has is entered that is from liver, a bile duct, and pancreas, pancreatic duct. So listen carefully. So from liver, from liver, bile duct. So bile duct has opened in the duodenum and also from the pancreas, from the pancreas, pancreatic duct pancreatic duct is opened in the duodenum. So when uh, after the digestion of stomach when chyme has produced so that chyme come into the duodenum in this process and then when it's strongly acidic you know that when food was there in, in stomach the pH is more about like 1.2 to 2.5 around this so it's strongly acidic but you know surprisingly this pancreatic juice and the bile both are alkaline in nature so when bile duct and the pancreatic duct together then it comes like bile and then through the pancreatic duct pancreatic pancreatic juice will be mixed with the chyme so now what are the processes going on you must know one thing that when food particles comes through this process bile that is the secretions of liver has no enzyme but but bile salts uh, there are some salts is known as sodium tercolate and sodium glycolate they have some specific functions in the digestion process so as in pancreatic juice there are a number of enzymes is there but in this class I will only mention three names number one is amylase amylase is an enzyme that will definitely turn into a glucose with the starch so this is actually amylolytic enzyme number two is trypsin trypsin and number three is lipase so in this tutorial I will only talk about in this three enzymes which is amylase, trypsin and lipase. What is the function of amylase? Amylase convert starch or, or carbohydrate into glucose. I mean starch is a polysaccharide. So these saccharides will be turned into glucose with the activity of amylase. Trypsin is a proteolytic enzyme. That means the polypeptide or the, the polypeptide that comes in from the stomach that was partially digested protein. So the polypeptide will turn into uh, amino acids and glycerol, amino acids. And then this lipase, that is uh, the lipolytic enzyme, this lipase is responsible for breaking down into f the fatty acid to the uh, from fat to fatty acid and glycerol so amylolytic enzyme proteolytic enzyme and lipolytic enzyme now think about what are the series of reactions is going on as it is acidic uh, this is extremely acidic so by and pancreatic juice pancreatic juice is alkaline in nature it will neutralize it will neutralize and also the bile salts will neutralize these acidic reactions. So now its neutralization happens. What is going on? At first, you need to know that fats are the large particles. So here, what's going on? Sodium, 
sodium sodium tarcolate and sodium glycolate this is very important these are the bile salts so these are the bile salts then these fats will be breaking down into smaller smaller milky fat, fat solubles or like fat, fat globules so it's like smaller fat particles smaller fat particles and this process is known as emulsification 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 as because this is the smaller particles known as the milky emulsifies that is doing like fats will be breaking down into us because this lipase enzyme will have more space i mean the smaller fat particles will be easier for breaking down so as because from the kind that are coming with the food they are like starch the first reaction is a starch will be breaking down into glucose with the activity of with the activity of amylase this is very important hmm? so amylase will turn starch into glucose secondly the polypeptide the polypeptide is uh, will turn into amino acid which is very important for our body amino acid with the activity of trypsin with the activity of trypsin and then these smaller fat particles these fat particles is uh, turning to uh, turn into fatty acid fatty acid and glycerol glycerol with the activity of lipase with the activity of lipase so simply this process will be happening in in the small intestine but there are a number of reactions if you see the HSC level uh, zoology book their digestion process or human digestive system has been discussed in a broader aspect if you see that book you will see that number of reactions are there but I am just mentioning the main reactions or just few percentage of that so what are the sequences is going on in the duodenum or the small intestine as you know that small intestine has started the first part is duodenum so when the food particles which was actually converted into chyme in the actions of uh, stomach comes into duodenum and in duodenum two openings are there that is from liver a bile duct and from pancreas to pancreatic duct so through the bile duct what will be coming bile so as bile has no enzyme this is very important bile has no enzyme but those bile salts these bile salts will actively participate in the process of digestion and how they will participate these bile salts which is sodium glycolate and sodium tarcolate they will break down the fats the larger molecules into smaller particle and this is the milky emulsifies and this process is known as emulsification and this is very important it may come to your exam paper so what is emulsification emulsification is the breaking down of the fat particles with the help of bile salts named sodium tarcolate and sodium glycolate after this process what is going on these fat particles will be turning to fatty acid and glycerol which is the absorbable portions of our body now our body is ready to take the pearl of fats all the fats that we are having from the plant and the animal sources are absorbing by us like in food we are taking it so the digestion process makes them fatty acid and glycerol so then our body and our cells is ready to accept these so the polypeptide that was actually partially digested in the stomach now with the actions of trypsin they will turn into amino acids and of course those are starch was not digested in the stomach as you know that in stomach only proteins are digested because there is no amylolytic and lipolytic enzymes in the stomach 
so no changes of fat and carbohydrate happens in the stomach only only proteins so polypeptide was partially changed versions of proteins which was activated through the pepsins and renin if you can remember what is going on in the stomach so polypeptide will turn into amino acid starch will turn into glucose and these are the enzymes that you must know so i was just mentioning only three enzymes but there are a number of enzymes that i didn't actually discuss but if you want to know it more please go or search on the google so this is in short descriptions about the digestion process in small intestine so i hope you understand and of course if you don't and if you have any sort of recommendations and feedback do let me know in the comment section so that i can adjust your feedback so take care and uh, this is very important and of course i have divided into three or four parts as because it looks like easier for you and shorter durations of the tutorial so if you see the introduction of the digestions then digestions in mouth digestions in stomach and then this tutorial which is digestion small intestine so it looks like a sequential explanation and i hope it will definitely help you so take care see you soon and in the next tutorial i'm coming up with the videos with the explanation of tooth the structure and the components of tooth so take care stay well stay blessed bye